Hey, and welcome to a short video to export GBXML from Revit to use in color. So let's just go to Revit first. Here's a sample model with basic roof, walls, and floor. Now what we need to get out of Revit is a GBXML. It's a green building XML model that we can use within color. So one of the methods to do that is first we go to level zero or your floor plan and then we establish rooms. Go to the architecture tab, select rooms, and create a room inside your building. Now this room is going to enable us to create an analytical model, which is also the thermal model of your building. Now, once you're happy with all the rooms that you can create within your building plan, go to the tab Analyze. Within Analyze, we have to look for the tab for energy optimization. If it's not available, try to find it in the settings and enable it that it's available on your ribbon. In this tab, the first thing that we need to do is change the energy settings. So by default, it would be at use conceptual masses. So we need to change this from conceptual masses to use rooms or space, because that is what we are using to define the thermal model of this building. Once that is done, put an emphasis or Take a note of average vertical void height threshold. If it's anything other than zero and you don't have a vertical core in your building, please put it to zero. And the same goes for the chased area threshold. That also becomes zero. It doesn't impact our calculation. It just gives a better and a cleaner GBXML model. Once you're done with the base settings, let's go to the advanced settings in the other option and click edit. Here, we have to take a special notice of what quality of model we are exporting. So within the tab advanced, go to export complexity and set it to complex. If your model is simple, three or four rooms, you can also set it to simple. Um, the amount of details don't really change unless you are using simple with shading surfaces or complex with shading surfaces. Uh, do not, we recommend not to use shading surfaces since we don't process them. It would be best if you stick with complex or simple models. Once you're happy with these settings, you can click OK. And basically, you have, decided, you have defined your energy model at this point. If you already have an energy model, delete that first, and then create a new energy model. Click on the Create Energy Model button and click Create the Energy Analytical Model. It's going to give you a warning, which is fine. Just click OK and move on to the next step. Check that your thermal model is complete. All the surfaces are being covered and all the walls and roof windows are within this particular thermal model. Once you're happy with how your zone looks and how your thermal model looks, go ahead and go to File, Export, and export a GBXML. Pay special attention here and select the second option since you remember that we created a room to create a thermal model, we are going to use the second option, use rooms, spaces, and elements to define this particular thermal model. Once you do that, let's create, let's save this in a convenient place where you can find it. And there we go. So we just created a GBXML model out of Revit. It is as simple as that. If you have a clean, good BIM Revit model, you can easily create nice, uh, nice and clean GBXML models that Kala can read and provide valuable insights to. Now for the next step, let's go to Kala. Go to building optimization, select the project that you're working on and select the option import GBXML data. Once you do that, let's go to A01, the one that we just saved and let's open that. Once you open that, Kala is going to read the native format that is being exported from Revit, run it through our process, and then import your building right into Kala. You can see that all your walls, roof, windows, and other surfaces are imported exactly as they are in Revit. And you can go ahead and play with the material choices that you would like to have, for example, for your exterior walls. Choose systems work with different systems here. Uh, if you don't want to engage in 
advanced calculation, you can select any of our linear regression based DGA systems, and that would give you a good estimate of how much uh, energy you would be consuming, how much energy you need, and what would be your primary energy demand. Along with this, you also get a detailed embodied energy count for each layer in your building. This makes it really, really easy to identify which of your materials are more polluting. Now, this can be repeated for almost any complexity of model, as long as they're exported the right way from Revit. I hope this was helpful, and thank you.